I've got two different uh, favourite cookers and um, one of my favourites is the Trangia 27 series and this little piece of kit all nestled together like this does almost everything and with the accessories I would say it, it does do everything that you you know that you can do in the kitchen <laughs> I dare say <laughs> um, now you've got your pots inside and you've got your windshield your frying pan your spirit burner your pot grip inside and the strap and um, it runs on four types of fuel actually uh, the methylated spirits it can run on gas with uh, with that converter the gas converter and petrol or diesel with the petrol diesel converter as well um, the 27 series is for one to two people uh, the 25 series a little bit bigger uh, that's for families uh, the the one I've got, this particular one, is um, hard anodized aluminium. And not only are the pots hard anodized, but um, the uh, the windshield is as well. So that's pretty good. Um, now, if you're going to fry on this cooker, I recommend you get a non-stick frying pan because if you get the standard one. Things the food is going to stick to it, and you're going to need a really hard scourer to get it off. So um, get the non-stick. And uh, what I like about the windshield is, unlike the um, the filed the foil windshields or the, the 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 very thin metal ones that open up on it, you know, they zigzag, it folds up on it on itself and opens it, and it has little pegs that goes in it to keep it together sometimes these pins can fall out and the wind could push it in a bit and what have you and you know what I like about this is nothing's going to go wrong with that the wind is not going to push it in it's solid so that's really good I think uh, and what happens is to set it up like I just did put these tabs down we're going to use the um, the pots. Get your spirit burner out. Take the top off. Unscrew that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put it back on again because I'm indoors. And then put that on there like that. In that hole. And light it. And then put your food on them three tabs I put down. And if you like, you can put that on top. Anyway, keep the heat in. Or you could just hold it with pot grip and give things a stir now and again. So uh, it's, it's as simple as that. Nothing can go wrong with this unless you run over it with the car or... Uh, stamp on it or something like that you know you're not going to do something like that anyway so um that's that the Transia 27 series so if you're going to buy one cooker you might not have a lot of money or something um then if you're going to get one of these you're not going to go far wrong so um, i mean the it will last a lifetime um the only thing that won't last is the the rubber seal in the top of the spirit burner now that might perish over the years about three or four years it might perish so um, you'll have to renew that so it's good to carry a few spares but it'll last uh, years and years and years the only one thing I don't like about it is in bad conditions it's it's a bit of a, a tiny bit of a faff to put it back together because I put that through there and it's sort of dropping it's dropping in on and it won't go through so I need to bend that a little bit and then see what I mean if they if this was bad conditions now it would get on your nerves so just have to get that in there there you go it's through that's the only thing I don't like about it but everything else it does all different types of cooking 
and uh, it just does everything. That's, you know, it's it's one of, of all the cookers I've used. I always come full circle and come back to this one. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I I walked through Sweden and uh, Norway and Sweden uh, from Nordcap to the middle of Sweden, right in the middle of Sweden. And I carried one of these all the way. So, you know, when you go do a trip like that, it took about three months. And when you do a trip like that, if something doesn't work, you don't persevere it. You just get rid of it and buy, buy something that does work. And I had this right through the trip, three months. And I could have gone, could have gone on forever. It was brilliant, got so fit and this never, this never broke down on me it just worked all the time so um anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the add-ons that i've put together now they're not necessarily transia but um just little things that i've done okay to light the cooker what i use is uh, your standard cheap lighter Whoop. Like and um also i've got a ferro rod or a ferro cerium rod and uh, which is just a basically a manufactured mil uh, flint and steel and a little bag to go with it uh, sometimes I use um, a blue flamed lighter because in the winter the methylated spirits are a little bit difficult to light so I use a blue flamed lighter now and again a little bag put it in there like that out of the way and next up is um, this sort of shield, this metal round shield. This is off the uh, Pathfinder Spirit Burner. No different company. So what I use it for is I put it in there like that. So there you go. And what that allows me to do is um, put my cup straight on there, straight on the onto the flame like that. Because my cup won't fit in there with these tabs. It's not made for it. So I put that in there and put my cup straight on there. And the advantages of that is um, with a red hot cup or a red hot, a red hot mug and um, boiling water, the heat is going to last longer in cold weather. Um, if you've got boiling water in there and a cold mug, you pour it in, it's just going to take the heat away a little bit. So um, I like to put my mug straight onto there. Uh, next up is um, the Trangia chopping board. Uh, besides chopping your veg up or whatever you want to chop up, you can also strain the water out your pot. And what you do is just clip it on like that. Hold it in that, put, put your, put your uh, pot holder in there like that and then strain the water out nice and easy and i'll do it the other way so you, so you can see so imagine i'm sitting that side you just hold it like that and strain the water out so that's that no tell a lie there's another use um it also is used for putting on the bottom of the cooker like that so it clips on nicely like that and what that does is it allows you to put the cooker onto soft surface like snow or mud or any sort of soft surface and it's less likely to sink in then so it's used for that as well so there you go that's that uh, next up is my titanium plate by life venture and what this does oh i'll just backtrack a little bit minute when I when I put it away, put I go back to this again. When I put it away, I put it together like that, and I'll put it in the bag and just put that together like that. There you go. Put it in there, and it fits in dead easy, so there's nothing difficult. Um, that's dead easy, nicely put away. And uh, right back to the plate, the Life Venture Titanium plate. What I do with this is, well, basically it nestles nicely with the, uh, the frying pan, the 18 centimeter frying pan. And also, so when you put it together, it nestles quite nicely all 
like that when everything's inside with a strap over the top it's just nice sits there nicely or when I'm cooking uh, I can use it as a like a lid oh yeah so imagine that's cooking now and the stuff is frying in there I can use that as a lid just to keep the heat in it doesn't it doesn't balance balance perfectly but it just allows to keep the heat in a little bit um, and you might save a bit of fuel as well so it allows the, the the food to cook on top as well without turning it over too many times so that's the that use and with this it's got two uses this um, if I haven't got any foliage any grass or muddy stuff to sort of clean the pot out after I've used it I'll use this and rinse it off of, of course and uh, also the other use is when it's all put away it stops everything rattling so I'll put it away like that put that down put that in there uh, put that in there fits in there nicely like that I'll put that in there put that on there sorry I've missed out I'll put that on top of there like that and it stops things rattling so and I'll put it all together put the strap on there's nothing rattling so um, that's the little things I, I use on top of um, what you get for your money so uh, it's not too heavy it doesn't add much weight either hardly any weight at all really so uh, that's my little add-ons okay now the gas converter fits in the pot like that quite nicely and uh, comes in a nice little bag which is a good quality bag as well transure on the side so i'll just get that out like that and that's what it looks like that's where the bottle goes obviously and to rig it up you just take that off there put the end through the hole and then that end through the hole i'll get the get the nozzle through first thing all right Oops, messing around there we go and then that then will clip on there like that and it's sat in there quite nicely and then you just put that back on and there you go there's your gas and obviously the bottle is going to sit on there like that and to turn it on and off there's your little handle your tap turn it on and off and um, the only thing with gas with this particular gas is um, when the air shifts the wind it will shift the air inside and it won't blow it out but it sort of blows out a little portion of it and then it relights itself again when the wind is gone so uh, but it's not that bad it's, it's still really good and also it's not it's not like um some gas stoves where the ring is smaller but it's a hard blast up like a blowtorch they're good for um boiling water for noodles and stuff like this but this is more of a general cooker you can cook your wet food as well you know like your chili con carne and your beans and stuff so then um, that's your gas and also what i've got in here it's not a transier accessory it's by someone else I, I got it on ebay and what it is it's um a gas bottle converter and um, what this allows me to do if i'm abroad and I can't get the, the, the gas bottles that fits onto there. Like I think it's France it is. This allows me to convert it from, from this fitting. we we'll just put that on there like that. To a smoother fitting. They look exactly the same. But it the bottle, the fitting on the bottle looks exactly the same as the one that would go on there. But there's no thread. It's just smooth and you just plonk it on and with this you plonk it on and twist it to seal it and um, I think it's camping gas spelt G-A-Z at the end um, like I said I think it's French but um, I'm not sure but that's a gas bottle converter so I got that as well 
So there you go. And that's what I carry inside the bag along with the gas converter. Okay, as for the um, petrol and diesel converter, I can't show you that because I don't have one. But it's basically the same setup as the gas. Put the nozzle through there and it goes through that little hole there. And then you affix it to the fuel bottle and the nozzle to turn it on and off will stick through this big hole here. So uh, that's that. And what I've got here is the Trangia Billy Pot. Um, there's the Trangia sign there. And it's made of aluminium. And as it stands like that, it's 11.6 uh, ounces. So not too much more weight to carry for what you can use it for. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like inside. And got a nice boy, boy, a baling arm like that. So you could use it on a fire quite easily. Or... Um, if you used it with a cooker, you would use it the same position as the frying pan. So you would put, I'm not going to rig it up completely, but you put the tabs out like that. And then it would go on top like that. So there you go. And it enables you to sort of do bigger things with the cooking. Or maybe if you meet people on your trip and you cook for them as well. You know, you never know. Um, so it gives you more flexibility with what you want to do with the cooking. Uh, the only thing is, I can't really fit in the Life Venture plate with it. It doesn't fit. But when you've got one of these, what the hell do you want one of these for? You know, it does exactly the same job as this and more. So... Um, in fact, you're better off you having this rather than this, to be honest with you. Uh, so there you go. It goes in there. Tuck that in like that. Fits in great. And happy days. Now, the other alternative is the Tatonka Billy Pot. Um, it's made of stainless steel and it weighs one pound 4.4 ounces. So a bit more heavier. Um, I think your bushcrafters and what have you survivalists would prefer this because it's a lot stronger and lasts sort of a life, you know, forever and what have you. Um, and the same again, the cooker will fit inside like that. Exactly, exactly the same. So you can put that in there. There's plenty of room. And it's got a bailing arm, so there you go. Happy days. And also with this one, it's got a handle here for the lid, which turns into a plate. Like that. No, let's take that off. Now if you want to use this billy pot on the cooker, same again. I'm not going to rig it up completely, but uh, imagine it's rigged up for cooking. That would go on there, quite, goes on there perfectly. Put the lid on like that. And put that up there if you want. And yeah, it fits on perfect. So you can use that. If you wanted, wanted a stainless steel one, you could use the Totonka Billy Pot. And last up is the MSR Seagull. Uh, it's not a Billy Pot as such, it's more of an ordinary pot. Um, now, this is a bit of an improvise really, and you've got to watch what you're doing when buying a pot like this, and I'll explain later. It's something to do with the lid fitting on the, on the frying pan. Um, get your, get your uh, MSR Siegel pot, the handle, saw it off and flatten these tabs down, and then saw the buckle off there so it's nice and smooth. And uh, I'll just take that out a minute. And you could use that as a billy pot for the 27 series. Now it, do, it does fit in, but you can't get the lid on. But you can fit it in. And it goes in like that. It's fine. It's, it's a little bit of a wobble. But it's okay. It fits in. 
you'd have to put the, um, the lid somewhere else in your rucksack. Uh, what you could do also is put another chopping board in, a transier chopping board anyway, and stick it in like that. That will stop the scratching over a long period of time, I suppose, if you wanted to do that. And also, it does fit in the cooking position on top, like the frying pan. Again, I won't rig it up completely, but imagine it's rigged up. It will fit on there. Now, this MSR Seagull pot is the biggest one they do. Um, and it does fit on there perfect like that you can also use it as a steamer and what happens is i don't know whether you've noticed but uh i in my frying pan i've put holes there and there and i put the other hole there and there as well and what i can do is see the edge there there's a little lip just coming over so there's a there's a gap about a millimeter or so i don't know if my my nail is against the inner wall and then all of a sudden it pops out you can see see there's a, there's a millimeter gap so when i put this on there like that it fits in perfect and there's a gap so the steam can come up at the sides and come out these holes the only thing is the cut of the metal on the on the lids of the MSR Seagull is so close that some lids fit and some lids don't fit. And the lid, this one fits. See, it's perfect. So you could use that as a steamer, you know. But the only thing is, this lid, which is exactly the same, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it does. So. You know, if you want to do this, if you want to use this sort of pot, really, you need to, when you go to the shop, you need to take this along with you and get a pot and make sure that this lid, of what the pot you're going to buy, fits on like that. If it doesn't, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to end up messing around going back to the shop. So make sure it fits on perfectly like that. And that enables you to have a steamer. And also, if you're frying something like that, um, it enables to cook all round better than um, not having a lid at all. So yeah, so that's an alternative. It's a bit of an improvisation. It does work very well, but you've just got to watch that the lid of this, the MSR Seagull, the biggest one, fits on there. So if you buy one of these to do this make sure you take this uh, frying pan to the shop with you